Hi guys, it's Lauren here, and that time of year is coming up very, very shortly. You know the time where we tell ourselves it's time for a fresh start, and then we run around looking for someone to hook up with at 12 o'clock because we want to fill that void of loneliness, and then we go and sign a gym contract that we will never use and never get out of? Yes, that's right. It's time for New Year's 2016. Well, that all sounds delightful, but do you know what my pet peeve is around this time of year? That's New Year's resolutions. Not just because statistically only 8% of people will actually complete them, but most people will fail their New Year's resolution within the first week. So really, they should be first week resolutions. And if that's the case, mine's going to be to shave my legs in my bush. Sorry, Nan. Hi. I feel like I should say it's not that I'm against bettering yourself or having goals or anything. I am all for that. I just hate looking into the far, far future and being forced to make plans because if people keep on coming up to me going, what's New Year's resolution, Lauren? What's New Year's resolution, Lauren? What's New Year's resolution, Lauren? I'm going to turn around and say to not get fatally ill and die. That may seem very drastic and dramatic, but with me, because I've grown up with a chronic illness, I find that I cannot plan long term because when I do, a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, I've had my dreams crushed because of my health. So I found that planning short term was a lot better for myself mentally, and that's the way I keep on doing it. That doesn't mean I don't have any big ambitions or big goals or anything. It just means that day to day I'm not focusing on them. I'm focusing on the little things that I can do. Otherwise, my brain will just go since we're all in the party mood now, I'm going to show you a little bit of a DIY to get your monthly goals in order. This has been inspired by Pinterest and the internet, and I hope you guys enjoy. Get a cork board, paint it a color. Easy so far. Stick two cut triangles in the top two corners. Make a heading, goals 2016, then stick that on too. Cut a paper strip and glue that down. Cut out six squares, glue them down. Stick on another paper strip and glue the two other triangles in the bottom two corners. Cut out 12 smaller squares and write on them the name and number of each month in a year. Put them in a chronological pile and pin them to the board. Cut out 12 small squares again in different paper. Times that by 5, pin the 5 piles onto the board. Cut a paper strip slightly smaller than the one glued on the board and times it by 12. Do the same for the bottom strip too and add some embellishments for a little bit more jazz. Use the two strips to write down your favourite quotes or affirmations. In the five small boxes, write down a goal for the month on each square. Take an old jar. I got this from the pantry. Ooh, nuts. Give it a good old clean and decorate it. When done, pull off the completed goal and put it in the jar. Complete this stage at the beginning of each month and this will keep you motivated and remind you of your achievements throughout the year. Boom! You've got yourself a goals board. If you just liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, we're posting every Thursday now, so keep on watching the videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful 2016. Remember, you're not alone and I'm sending my love.